Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, thank you for accepting the invitation to join us uh, online. We choose this format, uh, this unusual format, to anticipate uh, what we are going to display this year at the Frankfurt Motor Show. And we did it first to make your life easier, and second, to allow you to plan your day uh, at the EIA in the most efficient way, and I hope it will help. I will start with a brief summary of our results on the corporate side. I am glad to report that uh, so far we have reached more than 310,000 deliveries and global sales keep growing at a good pace with an increase of more than 13% compared to the same period of uh, last year. This is the best result in the last 16 years at SEAT. I am also proud to say that uh, we are in 2017 one of the fastest growing brands in Europe and the performance is pretty homogeneous geographically because in fact we are achieving double digit growth in most of the countries including our home country Spain which is again our most important market in terms of uh, volume. And to celebrate the return of SEAT on the highest step of the podium in our domestic market we have recently announced that we will have our flagship with more than 2,600 square meters in the most visited and prestigious location in Barcelona, the famous uh, Diagonal. We will develop a multidisciplinary space with a unique concept to host many different activities with the clear mission of being a meeting point for new trends and talents and with the objective of becoming even more integrated in the cultural and economic life of our beautiful hometown. And the opening of Casa Seat at the end of 2018 is just another reason for us to look with optimism at the future. A future full of exciting projects and especially exciting products. I'm now here at uh, uh, Seat Sport, the heart of our sport division. And I'd like to show you their latest uh, developments. This is the new Leon Cupra R. This is a limited edition of only 799 units that will be crafted by our best engineers and technicians here at Seat Sport, our racing division. The car will now feature a 310 horsepower petrol engine with sportier mapping, exclusive exterior matte color, new exhaust pipes, carbon fiber aerodynamic package, special copper finish, su super sport bucket seats, and a totally new instrument cluster. You will find all additional details about the Cupra R uh, in the press release that you will receive right after this uh, conference. And on top of that, you will get to know more details in Frankfurt with our head of engineering, Matthias uh, Rabe. Frankfurt will see also the world premiere of a very, very important product for the brand, the new Seat Arona. This is Ateca's young brother, will be exhibited to the public for the first time, and the EAA will be the opportunity for us to officially uh, announce the start of sales and the prices. Arona will be displayed on the stand with many versions and engines combination, including the all new one liter TSI 90 horsepower CNG uh, engine. I have already had many opportunities to state that at SEAT we are investing in all future engine technology from hybrid to full electric cars, but we are also convinced that CNG is actually a very good option to reduce emissions and to provide to our customers an affordable solution for sustainable mobility. As from now, SEAT will have one of the largest offer of CNG models in the European market. In fact, at our stand at the EA, the public will find the TGI version, not only of the Arona, but also of the new Ibiza, and finally a CNG version of uh, Seat Leon powered by 1.4 115 horsepower drivetrain. On the first press day, we will hold our official press conference to dive a bit deeper into 
these and other subjects at uh, 12 15. But on top, during uh, the day, we have also planned two different press talks to focus on specific topics at 3 p.m. and at 4.30 p.m. One of them will be about the new uh, Cupra R and the future of the Cupra business. And the second is a bit of a surprise and will be about the integration of the Alexa technology in our cars. We are actually talking about the artificial intelligence technology from Amazon that thanks to the cooperation between our two companies will be for the first time in Europe integrated into an automotive environment and adapted for driving condition. This revolutionary voice service has been designed to provide drivers all sorts of support when it comes to navigating to a certain point, getting dealer information or even search for a place to have dinner, amongst many other things. Alexa will be available by the end of this year on the Leon and the Ateca and the next year on Ibiza and Arona. I invite you to join our press talk where Mr. Ned Kurik, Amazon Alexa Vice President, will explain what this voice service is all about in actually more detail. Of course, Frankfurt provides us with the chance to talk about many other ideas and projects for the future. One of them is the new large SUV that we have announced a few months ago, and that will be launched at the end of 2018. You may have heard that we have involved the public in the decision of the name. I think that's the first time it happens in our industry. The only condition we gave was that it should refer to a Spanish location, a river, a mountain, a town, or a monument. And the people, seem to like the idea because we received over 130,000 submissions and more than 10,000 different names coming from 106 countries in just three weeks. Now, after a legal and pronunciation check, nine proposals are left on the table. Abrera, Alboran, Aran, Aranda, Avila, Donosti, Tarifa, Taraco, and Teide, which is actually the highest mountain in Spain. At the Frankfurt Mato Show, we are going to make public the final name, and this will represent the start of the final public voting. Actually, very curious to see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, these are all the main things from Seat side at Frankfurt Mato Show. We are truly looking forward to meet you there. And once again, thanks a lot for your kind attention.